Introduction Breaking a bad habit is complicated. Even with a strong will, the temptation to revert to bad habits is strong. You feel like you are in the grip of a power. By learning at the root how a habit is formed, you can overcome that power. In this book, you will learn what is a habit, why are habits so hard to break, how to stop a bad habit more easily, how to resist relapsing into a bad habit, what is the process for changing bad habits in an individual, organization, or community, how can our habits influence us unconsciously. Our answers to these questions are easy to understand, simple to implement, and quick in results. Ready to break a bad habit? Let's go. What is a habit? The purpose of a habit is to save the brain energy when performing routine tasks. In a day, no less than 40% of our actions are habits. Habits are broken down into three steps. The external signal. Your brain triggers the appropriate habit to this signal. Routine, performance of the habitual activity. Reward, feeling of success. For example, you walk into your bathroom, go to brush your teeth and feel that your teeth are clean. This habit is done automatically, without thinking. Why are habits so hard to break? Habits are maintained because they create a state of craving. We are addicted to the ultimate reward of a habit. In our previous example, we are addicted to the feeling of having clean teeth and are frustrated when our teeth are dirty. Knowing that we will be brushing our teeth in the near future, our brain anticipates our reward to encourage us to go into the bathroom and brush our teeth. This craving is what reinforces the habit. How can I stop a bad habit more easily? When the urge to smoke arises, it's hard to ignore. To change a habit, you need to identify the external cues, the rewards associated with the habit and change your routine to one that provides the same reward. For example, you identify that the cue that makes you want to smoke is a feeling of stress from making a presentation to your employer and the reward of smoking a cigarette is a feeling of relief. So, the next time you feel that stress, take five minutes of deep breathing and this routine will give you the same reward of a feeling of relief. How do you resist relapsing into a bad habit? There are events in life that are so negative that they can cause us to fall back into bad habits. For example, you learn that your mother has terminal cancer. People who succeed in changing their habits irreversibly rely on beliefs. Whether it is with the help of a god or another spirituality, they have a firm belief that they have changed, which makes them resistant to negative life events. In addition to this belief, the willpower to not relapse plays an essential role. Willpower is considered erratic, so if, during a negative period, you plan in advance how to overcome that event, you will gather enough willpower to follow the plan and not relapse. For example, Starbucks has developed the latte method which outlines a series of steps to follow during a negative situation so that baristas can remain calm and calmly resolve the situation. Finally, lack of autonomy has a negative effect on willpower. If someone is ordered to do a task, the will is external and will not be as powerful as if it came from within. What is the process for changing bad habits in an individual, organization, or community? For an individual, starting with a key habit has positive effects on changing other habits in the area. This key habit allows you to achieve small victories quickly and easily. It helps you believe that you have the ability to make positive changes. For example, if you want to lose weight, keep a food journal where you record everything you eat and how much. This is your key habit. Once you have reached this goal, gradually decrease the amounts on your plate while continuing to keep your food journal. For organizations, by exacerbating a crisis situation, this provides a unique opportunity to reform organizational habits by providing a sense of urgency and a response to resistance to change. For communities, there is a need to become the model of a new habit and to have strong ties, i.e., friendships with many people from different social segments who will follow this new habit. These strong ties will lead to peer pressure, i.e., once the majority is reached, less close relationships will follow the new habit because to stay in the community, it will be difficult to escape. How can our habits influence us unconsciously? When we enter a supermarket, most people instinctively turn right. This is why retailers place their most profitable products to the right of the entrance. Similarly, the more familiar a product is to us, the more likely we are to like it, even if it is a new product. That's why, when we listen to new music, if it's between two familiar songs that we like, we'll tend to like it more than if we just listen to it. Our habits are so ingrained in us that they seem unconscious and influence us. When we become aware of a harmful habit, it becomes our responsibility to address and change it. Conclusion All habits are made up of an external signal. Routine, reward loop. To change the routine, have an inner will to change and the certainty that you can change. If you like the summary, click on one of our partner links to discover the power of habit. Why we do what we do in life and business by Charles Duhigg in ebook, book or audiobook format. And if you're not interested in reading further, we recommend you discover good habits, bad habits, the science of making positive changes that stick by Wendy Wood. Approximately 43% of our daily actions are performed out of habit. Without thinking about it, your habits determine almost half of the behaviors in your life. 
you might as well adopt habits so that they are good for you. In this book, you'll learn how do habits control our lives? What is the role of self-control in adopting a new habit? What is the role of a driving force and a restraining force in adopting a new habit? How long does it take to adopt a new habit? What is the key success factor for adopting a new habit? Why are good habits important under stress? Our answers to these questions are easy to understand, simple to implement, and quick in terms of results. Ready to adopt new habits. Let's go.